Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Baltimore Orioles. It's interleague baseball next on MLB Network. Dylan Bundy, a right-hander from the Sooner State, gets the starting assignment here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Boy, Dylan Bundy's come a long way. It wasn't that long ago where he went to camp and he had to make the team coming out of spring training. Former first-round draft pick out of high school from Oklahoma, 94 to 95 miles an hour. Good overhand 12 to 6 curveball and a changeup that's getting better all the time. He's turned himself into one of the league's premier pitchers. And we get things started here with a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Now the 1 0. Line drive to left. But coming on quickly is the left fielder to make the play for the first out. Time now for a glance at the Phillies batting order in this one. Dero, daytime road game for him. What you got? I got that this lineup, Maddie, in Oriole Park likes to swing the bats. This place plays small. This place has a low wall. You can drive it out pretty much line to line, and there's a lot of room to be a hero in this yard. Striding in, Odubel Herrera. Here comes the first pitch. And a neck high fastball that time. Lots of kids here at the ballpark on their summer break. 94 degrees at first pitch. And a strike to even the count. One and one. A nice adjustment right there for him to get on top of that baseball and drive it to the corner. The first pitch he obviously tried to overthrow got under it and it sailed on him a little bit. Now the one and one pitch. This is line to left. Mancini is going to get there as he backs up to put it away and there are two gone now. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. At the plate, Carlos Santana. First offering on its way. And he lays off there, 1-0. Oh. No Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matty, we got a good one behind the dish today in Ed Drummond. Well-liked by all people, pitchers, batters, managers. All you want as a player is the ability to talk to someone. And that's what Ed does. He gives you that chance. Dero, you hit a nail right on the head. He has a real. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one without a doubt is gone. Oye Como Va. It's a solo home run for Carlos Santana. And the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He's assuming the role of DH in this interleague matchup. Yeah, Matt, that's one of the funny things about National League teams playing in AL ballparks. All of a sudden, the lineup kind of changes dramatically. But the cool thing is it gets more guys a chance to get some at-bats or time in the field. First pitch of the at-bat. 
fastball that just misses inside. A lot of righty pitchers will throw that two seamer to right handed hitters to try to jam the guy or even make some firewood. He got it in there but that was a good take to lay off and take the ball. The 1 0. Is taken strike one. That pitch up in the zone called the strike and that's a tough pitch for a batter to hit though that fastball that's high in the zone. Bases are empty here with two men out. That's two and one. Well I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey this is a guy that can burn you again so I don't really blame him. Now the 2 1 pitch. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up. Bundy has got it, and the side is retired. But the Phillies strike first on this solo home run. On to the bottom of the first, and Philadelphia is off to an early 1-0 lead. Aaron Nola gets the starting assignment for the Phillies. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Aaron Nola coming on the pride and joy of Louisiana State University. Kind of a four-pitch mix. Fastball, slider, curveball, and change. None of his pitches rate really on a scale of 10. None of them are eights or nines, but he's solid and he throws strikes. You'll know early if he's on, he'll induce a lot of ground balls. Standing in, Tim Beckham. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And that one stayed up a little high. The 1 0 home. Misses for the second ball. The 2 0 is in there for strike one. The 2 1. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top level arm like this. The 2 2. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Now a moment here in Baltimore for the Orioles starting lineup. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, Matt, we'll see if Jonathan Scope can keep up the hot bat. You can bet the opposition spent a decent amount of time crafting a game plan to stop this guy, because as he goes, so goes the team. You stop him, you've got a chance to win. You don't, you're probably going to lose. Now in the box, Manny Machado, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Looks at a curveball over the inside corner. Hey, I don't blame him right there. Giving up on that inside curveball, little front hipper. That's a tough pitch. You just can't figure out where the point of contact should be. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Popped high in the air. 
Alfaro is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. Batting third, second baseman, Jonathan. At the plate, oh. Jonathan Scope looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. First pitch on its way. Yanked on the ground down the line. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. Here's the pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. It remains one nothing. In now, Nick Williams. He'll lead it off here to begin the second. Nick. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a strike. Nope. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. Down low, two balls and a strike. Two one pitch is a fastball off the plate away, and it's three and one now. Hard hit ball to second. Scope is there. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Okay, here's how the birds line up today on defense. And let's spot shadow first baseman Chris Crush Davis. Doesn't get enough love for how soft this guy's hands are. Constantly picking middle infielders left and right. We get it. He's got power. But look for him to make a nice play on defense as well. Stepping up to the plate, Michael Franco. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And now a pitch on the way. And this is taken outside for ball one. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. Back to back pitches, they've gone away. Do you tell yourself as a hitter he wants to come in right here? I don't think so. I think he's trying to find that outside corner and adjust accordingly. And that catches the outside corner. It's two and one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calling for it. Hayes. He's got it and there are two down now. Batting seven, the left fielder number 23, Aaron Altair. Digging in, Aaron Altair. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. A high fastball is in there. Phillies have an early 1-0 lead here in inning number two. Into the corner and slicing foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called and a great pitch there to retire the side. We'll see Adam Jones when we come back. It's the Phillies one and the Orioles nothing. Leading off the inning, Adam Jones. The and Orioles. they'll need him to get something Senator going Gilbert. here. Adam Jones.
first pitch on its way. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. The one one. Squared that one up just a little late. Hot shot on the ground is short. Crawford has it. And that's out number one. That is good. So coming to the plate, Trey Mancini. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball, he's working really quick. Keeping the ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. Hate to be captain obvious here, but he looks great to begin this start. That's already three Ks for him in the first five hitters. It'd be awesome to see him keep up this pace. Here's Mark Trumbo now. First offering on its way. Yeah. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. He looks really strong here early in this game. And that fastball is a good example. Put that thing in a great spot and right where he wanted it. Two out, nobody on. Popped him up. Alfaro has a play. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They're on the short end of a one-to-nothing score. A nice aerial shot there. The Inner Harbor in downtown Baltimore as we welcome you back to the Charm City. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. First pitch of the at-bat. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And the slider stayed low apparently for a ball. Now the one and one pitch is in there for the second strike. Pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Into the bleachers and gone. A solo home run off the bat of J.P. Crawford as the Phillies have taken a two to nothing lead. Well, in just a little more than two innings of work, he's given up two homers. Could be just one of those games for him. We'll see how much rope they give him. It's definitely getting shorter at the moment. Standing in now, Jorge Alfaro. Jorge Alfaro. 
fly ball out toward left center field. Mancini moves over and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting second baseman Cesar Hernandez. Striding in once again Cesar Hernandez hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. That's a really tough pitch to do anything with. The backdoor slider just off the plate, just missing the strike zone. That's nearly an unhittable pitch to hit for a hitter. Softly hit out to short. And that'll be the second out. How about it? The center fielder, Odubo Herrera. Settling in now, Odubel Herrera hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball, ball one. Big swing, and this one's launched to right field and deep. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. The 1 1. A ball and two strikes now. The 1 2 is laid off for ball two. I think he's shown you right there he was trying to put you away with the off speed pitch have to be leery of that right there and take pull side away that'll keep you on all stuff fastballs and the off speed full count to Herrera three and two The 3 2 pitch. Popped him up. And Stoke will settle under it to make the play, and that ends the inning. Phillies get one in the frame courtesy of this solo home run. Bottom of the third coming up. It's now 2 0 Philly. Here's Chris Davis now. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a fastball that just misses ball one Davis who's often called crush Davis. He was a fifth round pick during the first year player draft of 2006. Hey nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. One and two. Hey, that's another nice two seamer right there. He's been able to manipulate that pitch all game, keeping it at the hollow of the knee, getting a lot of ground balls and a lot of swing and miss. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch, and he just didn't get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. And that'll bring up the catcher, Chance Cisco. Oh, look out! Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Adding nine. Right fielder, Austin Hayes. So striding forward now, Austin Hayes. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. 
First pitch coming. Here it is. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Hayes. A 22 year old he was selected in the third round back in the 2016 first year player draft. Hey this middle round selection is still developing but he's doing it at the big league level and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. High pop up. And Santana will put the squeeze on this one and the inning is over. One two three go the Orioles. They trail it here two to nothing. So now Carlos Santana. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. He's ready. Here's the first offering. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Santana in front with a 2 0 count. This is the cat and mouse that I love right here. You take the pitcher deep last time up. Now you're 2 0 again. No way he gets a fastball right here. Now the 2 0 home. 3 and 0 now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one, but that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3 0 count. Rare 3 0 curveball drops in 3 and 1. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. When a guy homers off you early in the game, the last thing you want to do is challenge him and maybe have him do it again. He was a lot more careful with him there. Next will be the designated hitter, Reese Hoskins. First delivery to him on the way. Called a strike on the outer half. 0-1. Quite an interesting outing up to this point as we head into the middle innings. He's pitching quite well, but you look at his first pitch strike percentage, less than 40%. That's going to be something he's going to need to clean up moving forward. Set to deliver the 0-1. Outside for a ball, 1-1. Santana gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. The one two is taken for ball two. Here now the 2-2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Up next will be Nick Williams. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. A curveball that catches the inside corner. Sort of surprising to see a five hole hitter take two in a row for strikes to start in a bat. Now he's way behind the count, so we'll see if he can battle back. 
ready on 0 and 2. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. The 0 2 once more and a fastball blew it right by him and there are two down. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And both guys have been coming with some low to mid 90s heat here. 96 versus 93 as the top two speeds thus far. Now at the plate, Michael Franco. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First offering on its way. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball, 1 and 0. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Two runs on two hits and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. He's set. Here's the 3 0. 3 0 fastballs in for a strike. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3 0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. Here's the 3 1. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere. He could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. He loses him on ball four. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Digging in to try it again. Aaron Altair comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Ball one. Two walks in this inning already, so he can't expect to stay out there much longer if he puts somebody else on. We'll see if he can find it. Two down runners at first and second. Lays off the fastball away, and it's 2-0. and Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone, and with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. Fouled off. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Three and one here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Here it is on three and one. Sliders in for a strike. Two men are on with two men out. Grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. The next three, two. He's offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. A couple of walks, but no damage. More baseball on MLB Network right after this.
standing in, Tim Beckham back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. First pitch on its way. And that misses inside, inside 1 0. Beckham, a native of Georgia, is normally at shortstop, although they've got him playing third base here today. Yeah, always one of my favorite things to do. You watch this guy today playing shortstop, you have time. There's rhythm, there's a timing to that position. Third base, man, step in and dive, a reactionary position. You have to come get it, go back on it. A lot of different things. This is a fun player to watch today. Coming to the plate now, Manny Machado. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A ball and no strikes. One oh home it is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Talk about certain guys in a lineup that you want to be really careful with. This guy right here is one of those and you can tell he's pitching awfully cautiously. Outside three and oh now. Orioles still looking for their first hit of the ball game. And a fastball misses their ball four. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. In now for the O's, Jonathan Scope. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. First pitch of the at bat. A breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one. Oh, one, here's the pitch. Hit down the third baseline. Machado, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. A breaking ball swung on and missed, and he set down for the second time this afternoon. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Here's the center fielder now, Adam Jones, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And Jones takes this one for a ball, 1 and 1. No runs, no hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Popped him up. Franco shading to his right. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and one man left on. We played four full. Phillies lead this one two to nothing. That'll bring in J.P. Crawford. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball run. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Rounded down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. And a 
pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left handers begin to stir. The one one home. A little bouncer. That's a foul ball. The one two. Misses ball two. That's lifted the other way out to left. Moving under it, Mancini. One out. Now batting, catcher, Jorge Alfaro. Into the box now, Jorge Alfaro. He flew out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. One half, nobody on. That's inside. Two and oh. The two oh on the way. Rip down the line. But a foul ball, and it's two and one now. Sent fouled again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. Here now the two two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Stepping in now, Cesar Hernandez. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. No hits to this point. The 1 0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. The 1 2. Line towards center field. But this will not get down quickly enough as it's pulled in out there in center, and that ends the inning. Phillies down in order, but they're on top two to nothing. And here's the big right handed power threat, Trey Mancini. He leads Lady off from the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. First pitch coming, here it is. And a breaking ball stays outside. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. 2-0 to the Baltimore left fielder. Too high. And it's 3-0. and Great A.B. so far. I'd really like to see this guy work a walk and get on base for this team. Maybe give them a shot of confidence that they got a shot to get back in this one. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. 
Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Here's Mark Trumbo now, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Here comes the first pitch. Line toward the alley in left center. And the Orioles have their first hit of the game. Fortunately for him, though, no error on the bobble, and the runners will hold at first and second now. Hey, d -Row, it's about time they finally break through. We're into the fifth inning, and that's just their first hit of this game. Yeah, Danny, it's been a pitcher's delight out there. But I'm an offensive guy. I want to see some balls moved into the gap. First knock. Hopefully this is the start of many. Here's Chris Davis now. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. One and one the count to Chris Davis. Mancini at second. Trumbo on at first with nobody out. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles first baseman. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on. But right here he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Another slow breaking ball that misses down low. Well this has been a good job to work the count from 0 and 1 to 3 and 1 and now he's really in the driver's seat to see a heater that he can do something with. And a change up right down the middle. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. First and second here with nobody out. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it one gone it's been a really rough day for this lineup there's really no other way to say it not a lot of good scoring opportunities and when they've had them like right now it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen and that'll bring up the catcher chance Cisco First pitch of the at bat. And this one's in the dirt. So now two men in scoring position. Well, you live by the sword, you die by it too. He went with an off speed pitch down in the zone, and that's the risk you take there. The catcher can't come up with it, and two runners advance. Now they're both in the scoring position. fly ball out to straightaway center. Herrera's there. He's there to make the catch, and here comes the runner from third, as this should get him on the board. And he will get in there with their first run. It's a two-to-one game now. That was a good, controlled swing out of him there, and that's exactly what he was hoping to do. Get it into the outfield and pick up the RBI. So stepping in, Austin Hayes, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. There's a strike. Zero. Swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Orioles settle for one. We're through five here at the ballpark. 
It's the Phillies two and the Orioles one. Stepping in, Odubel Herrera. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But uh, this will get foul for strike two. Now the pitch. Good change up in the dirt. Strike three. Cisco goes to get it, and he makes the throw to first. Herrera is retired, and there's one away. Carlos Santana will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. He's pitching well. We're working into the middle innings right now. But this is when he's really going to have to bear down. When you start going through that lineup the second and third time, you've kind of emptied the bucket out already. So he's going to have to continue to buckle down and make good pitches. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. Two and one now. The two one home. Hit to first. Davis has it. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. How about it? There's a big hitter. Three possibly. Digging in once again, Reese Hoskins. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. And that one just missed outside. Low scoring game thus far, two to one here in the sixth. In there, and it's even at one. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. Thought this middle of the order might give him a fight and put up a little bit of resistance, but that hasn't been the case. He's carving right through them here. The one, two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Here he comes again, one, two. So two balls and two strikes now. Bases are empty here with two men out. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas, so when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. Well, when you go with a slider there in a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. 
And now here comes Oriole manager Buck Showalter on his way to the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to do it for Dylan Bundy. He'll depart after five and two thirds as it'll be up to the bullpen to keep his guys in the ball game. Stephon Crichton takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Nick Williams will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a whiff at a good slider that time. He's going to step out of the box, adjust his bat and gloves, and pray he gets the exact same pitch as that one. Because if it comes again, we like to refer to that one in the biz as a cement mixer. Comes set with the 0-1. Takes a knee-high fastball. Hey, that's a well-executed fastball right there at the bottom of the zone. If he stays there all day, it's going to make for a long day for the offense. Unless they're willing to bend their legs and get down and create some different launch angle, he's on point right now. Mind to the right side. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Philly strand one. They lead it two to one. Ready for another shot now. Tim Beckham will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced? other than it's been fantastic. We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up. I hop and he bare hands it. He is out. The shortstop, number 13, Manny Machado. Here's Manny Machado now. Here comes the first pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Bases are empty, one man out. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive, still two and two. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse, and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Jonathan Scope is on deck. Count remains full. You pull a fastball like that, you got to tell yourself to slow it down a little bit, play more gap to gap, and keep that front shoulder square pointed towards the pitcher. That'll keep everything on plane. And there's a base hit on the line. Dan, how frustrating that must be. Eight pitch at bat, and he's able to work a base hit. He threw, he threw everything but the kitchen sink at him. He threw off-speed pitches, fastballs, and on the eighth pitch, left one out over the plate. Just enough for a base hit. Here's Jonathan Scope now. A shot down the first baseline. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. 
And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. Hey, after starting the game over two with two punch-outs, that single had to feel good. A nice piece of hit. Into the box now, Adam Jones, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute and hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. A play at the plate and not in time as the run scores. And would you believe the tying run comes into score on a wild pitch? Man, oh man. Man, this guy's going to get a nickname with the world wild in it if he keeps this up. That's his second wild pitch of the game, and this one cost him a run. Not sure if he got a cleat stuck out there or what, but this one wasn't anywhere near the zone. Looking for the K, here's the pitch. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. In now, Trey Mancini. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Scope stands at second with two gone. Oh, a two pitch is a curveball that misses one and two. Got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. It's a run on two hits here for Baltimore. Seventh inning coming up, and we are tied 2-2. Back here on MLB Network, all tied at two apiece as we get set to start the seventh. But before we do, let's have a look at our game summary through the first six. Ready for another chance? Michael Franco. It was a walk in his last trip. Third baseman number seven, Michael Franco. He's set. Here it comes. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen now as they've got a left-hander up and throwing. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. Here's a high pop up. Under it now is Davis to put it away for the first out. The left fielder number is 23. Aaron Altair. Into the box. Aaron Altair. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First offering on its way. And a neck-high fastball that time. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so 
This has been a better approach by him at this at bat, much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. This one's down to third. Oh, just a brutal hop, and it goes right by him. That's the cat and mouse of the game right there. You find yourself count leverage, you think you're getting a heater, he throws an off-speed pitch and you're still able to execute, that fires me up right there. Stepping into the box, J.P. Crawford. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First delivery to him on the way. And that misses ball one. The 1 0. There's a slider that can't catch the outside. On 2-0, you can bet he's looking for a fastball that he can turn on and drive. Might be thinking about picking on that big hole between first and second. Ready with the 2-0. Change up in for a strike. Love the pitch call there. 2-0. You know the guy's geared up for a fastball and you drop a changeup in the zone? That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. Drilled right back up the middle. One there. On to Davis at first. It's a double play and the side is retired. Down quickly go the Phillies. Score remains 2-2. Two to two. designated hitter for the Orioles, Mark Trumbo. He'll begin things here against Aaron Nola. Trumbo! First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Oh, one here's the pitch. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Nope. Yeah, and a curveball that started low and broke lower, ball one. Tried to get him to chase that 0-2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two and he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two. He's got him on the ropes at two and two but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times so it's not going to surprise him anymore. And that misses there so he runs the count full now. On deck the powerful Chris Davis. The payoff pitch home. Count still full, three and two. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Shows some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. So digging in now, Chris Davis. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. He's set and the pitch. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. This is where he might need a mound visit, whether it be from the shortstop, his pitching coach, or the catcher. These last couple of pitches have certainly gotten away from him.
the 1-0 home. Grounded to first. Scooped up on the backhand. On to first, and you can forget about the go-ahead run being on base. He's erased on the double play. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. Standing in now, Chance Sisko. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Strike 2 at a pitch that catches the outside corner. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well and it's a big reason why he's had success. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Now a ball lined softly down the left field line but this is a foul ball. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game and the inning is over. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. And this game is still tied at two and two. Ready now, Jorge Alfaro. And to start out the inning, it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there, Dan. They have, Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that. But it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 0 and 1 the count. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. The 1-1. One, one. Hard ground ball to third. And this is going to find its way into left for a base head and the leadoff man's aboard to start the eighth. Hey, nice effort by the third baseman right there to slide and try and knock that down. That ball was hit too good in the perfect spot. Stepping in now, Cesar Hernandez. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Now the one and one pitch is looked at for ball number two. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Ground ball right side. The second for one. On to Davis, but too late, and they'll settle for just the one. How about it? The center fielder, Herrera. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. We could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And that's a fair ball as it'll head toward the scoreboard. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it 
hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. At the plate, Carlos Santana. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. Pedro Florimont will come on now and pinch run here. Number 18, Pedro Florimont. So here's the cleanup hitter, Reese Hoskins. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. from the stretch and it's fouled away boy the Phillies have been looking for some offense all game long they've yet to find it let's hope they can find it pretty soon Hernandez at third Herrera on second Florimon at first one gone another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0-2 Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. That's down into left center for a base hit. One run scores. And he's safe. And the second run will come across to score as they take the lead here 4-2. to two. Well, that's a huge base hit right there, dude. Well, we're getting late into this one, and that gives them the lead by two. Yeah, that could be a backbreaker right there. We'll see how this one ends up, but nice job to get that knock right there to drive in a pair. Now pitching for the Orioles. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Up next will be Nick Williams. And he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. And they're runners at the corners now. Way the 0 1 pitch. 1 and 1. So 1 1. Taken on the outside corner for strike two. Runners are at first and third, one away. Slapped hard the opposite way. Mancini has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And not in time as the run scores. Boy, this one looked like it was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley, but he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. Into the box now, Michael Franco as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Now batting, left fielder, Aaron Altair. Stepping into the box, Aaron Altair is working on a one for three thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. From the belt, the pitch. Swing and a little tapper. That winds up foul for the second strike. 
three runs already home here. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So they pick up three runs on four hits, no errors, and two left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Phillies five and the Orioles two. Pat Nishak is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 93, Pat Nishak. Adam Rosales is going to come on as a defensive replacement now as he takes over at first base. Austin Hayes the next to bat. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a boop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Popped him up. Rosales is over and he puts it away for the first down. So his day fully over now as you get a look at the pitching line for the Philly starter. And he'll be very happy with how the day went. So the lineup flips over and digging in Tim Beckham. His career numbers against Pat Nishak. He's one for two. Here comes the first pitch. And the changeup just missed the inside corner. Hey, let's not sugarcoat this. This is a huge half inning right here. They have to find a way to score a few runs. They do not want to face the closer, needing three runs in the ninth. That means game over. Two balls and no strikes. The count to Tim Beckham. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. second and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single there's a hard hit ground ball pitcher not able to get a glove on it hard single up the middle yeah watch your lips right there dad sent it back right where it came from Here's Manny Machado now. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. Franco is under this one as he has it right in front of the dugout for the second out. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison. And the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Here's Jonathan Scope now. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at-bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. As a look, now the pitch. Missed with a slider. This is one of those classic cases of the right guy at the right spot. They need to get a rally going, and this is maybe their best hitter, so he's the right guy in the right spot for this team right now. 1-0 count. Here it is. Heavy sinker just stayed inside. We're in the eighth inning now of a 5-2 ball game. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Now the 2-1. Sinks below the knees, taken for a ball. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3-1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle end.
fouled away. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. On the ground to the left side. And that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. Throw comes in quickly from left. So even on the hit and run, they'll hold thanks to first and second here. Adam. Well, oh, that's not a bad pitch right there. That's a pretty good sinker. He just happens to hook that one right into left field for a base hit. Yeah, he got the bat head out right there, Dan, and was able to get that one to left field. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. His career numbers against Pat Neshek. He's 0 for 4. Beckham over at second. Scope on at first with two down. And that's inside looked like the slider, and it's 2-0. and oh. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders. But now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. Here he comes on 2-0. and oh. Seared down the first baseline. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Fouled off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Beckham rounds the corner and is headed home. He comes across to score as it's now a two-run game. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Trey Mancini is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Runners at second and third with two gone. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And here's a ball hit in the air. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. He was a double play victim last time around. Fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Into the box, Jorge Alfaro. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The 
the wind up and the 0 1. And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Now that's popped up. Davis over to his right. Two down. Now batting. Second baseman. Cesar Hernandez. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Cesar Hernandez. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach at 0 2 counts? My philosophy is this. I think the last thing you want to do is throw non-competitive pitches, Matt. Throw something down in the zone or just out of the zone, but something way out of the zone doesn't serve any purpose. Count is one and two now. Two out, nobody on. The one two popped him up. Scope will put this one away, and his side is retired. So Hector Neris comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Number 50. Hector Coming to the plate now. Mark Trumbo. One for two on his line so far in the game. First offering on its way. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. And low, it's a ball and a strike. One one is in there for strike number two. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back to back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. The one two. Still a ball and two strikes. Swing by Trumbo and a drive to left field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A solo shot here to left. As they pull within one here, it's now a 5-4 game. Certainly a tape measure shot there as we take a look at it with our show track technology. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity, so it comes as no surprise that it carried as far as it did. First baseman number 19, Chris Davis. Here's Chris Davis now. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. Neris stands 6-2 and throws from the right side. He's in his fourth season as a major league player. Base is empty here with nobody out. D 
Zero. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. The 0-2 pitch. A bouncer to the left side. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. And that'll bring up the catcher, Chance Cisco. 0 for 2 with a sacrifice thus far. Now here it comes. Hit in the air out to right. Williams is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. The right fielder, number 18, Austin Hayes. Digging in now, Austin Hayes. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A high fastball is in there. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. The 1-1 one, one home. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Baltimore down to their final strike. Oh, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Well, that's not exactly how you draw it up. He gave up a long ball to make it interesting, but it was the only run he gave up, and he hangs on to collect the save. A one-run finish today, 5-4 to four the final score. The Philadelphia Phillies came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Aaron Nola pitches well enough to get the W. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. This is Matt Vaskersian, and you've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. See you next time. Our final line score this afternoon, first for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Five runs, seven hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For the Orioles, four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 19 minutes. A reminder that Metro subway trains are available at the Lexington Market or Charles Center subway station. MTA light rail service will provide extra trains on the Penn Camden shuttle and can be picked up just outside the ballpark at the Camden Yards light rail station.